Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Intermediate Unit on ALICE. Today we will learn about vehicles. Vehicles are another very useful tool available to you in ALICE. They essentially allow you to marry one object to another. For example, if you make a spear's vehicle to be a man's hand, everything that the man's hand does, the spear will also do. If you move his arm up, then the hand, which is hopefully attached to the arm, also moves up, and so will the spear. We can use this a number of ways which we'll demonstrate to you. In this first example, we will use vehicle like its name suggests we should, by giving the man a vehicle to ride. In this example, it will be a horse. From now on, we will pre-build a lot of the code that you should already know. We will still go over some of the newer ideas again to help you really learn them. Here we have set a man upon a horse, ready to ride it. The code here sets his body up to sit astride the horse, so feel free to pause the video if you want to take a look at it in more detail. Note that the duration of all of the instructions are set to zero, so that he starts ready to ride when the movie starts. You can manually set an object up in the Add Object window by clicking on the Effect Subparts checkbox. This allows you to move each part separately. So what happens when we make the horse move? Well, exactly what you would expect to happen. The horse leaves the man hanging in the air. Some methods are not available in the method window of an object. Vehicle is one of them. You have to drag the object or object part, like an arm, into the instruction box to be able to see it. So let's drag the Aboriginal man object in. Pick the set vehicle to method and set it to the horse. Now whatever the horse does, the man will also do. If we walk the horse forward, the man will come with him. In this next example, we'll get the hawk to snap up an unsuspecting bunny by setting the vehicle halfway through our code. Again, we'll set up most of the code in advance. We have a dummy object in the sky, which we use as a center point to get the hawk to circle around by using the as seen by method. The hawk will dive down and grab the bunny and fly away with it. At the point the hawk reaches the bunny, we need to set the bunny's vehicle to be the hawk. Drag in the bunny and select set vehicle to hawk. So when it flies away, it takes the bunny with it as if it's caught in the hawk's talons. That works well. The final example we will show is picking up an object. Here we have a man who is going to pick up a canoe paddle. I wish I could offer you an easy way to do this, but I'm afraid this is again a process of trial and error. You will have to set up your object in such a way that it is positioned perfectly to be attached as a vehicle. Using dummies can help if you want the object to move over and grab it, but it will still involve some patience. Here is the code for our demonstration. And here he is picking up the paddle. If you want, there are some sneaky ways around this. For example, if the object you are picking up is small and hard to see, you could place it directly in the person's hand and set its opacity to 0% or invisible. Then when he or she picks it up, make it visible again, giving the impression it was just taken in hand. For a larger object, you could do the same thing, but use some slick camera work so that the actual object being picked up is hidden and out of shot. Alice allows you to be really creative, so feel free to use any technique you want, because problem solving is an integral part of learning to program. The next tutorial will be on poses which will make creating methods a lot easier, but does come with some of its own challenges. Thanks for watching.